Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to a hotel reading. <laughs> so full. I'm doing water signs right now, so I hope that you enjoy this. It's just to kind of get me back in the flow. I've been away for a month, but I'm back, and I will be returning home shortly here. And I hope that you enjoy this little reading for you, okay, Cancer? All right, so how this works is I'm going to pull on your energy. <laughs> Excuse me. That was weird. I don't know what that was. I'm going to pull on your energy, and then we're going to get into some clarity for this. All right. And then I will pull some Moonology cards afterwards. All right. So, how you doing, Cancer? <laughs> I will be opening my personals back up as well, okay? This is my hotel desk reading here. I hope you like it. It's uh, unique. Okay. What do we have? We have star in reverse, Aquarius energy. What else do we have? Okay, seven of cups. King of Pentacles. Hmm. So, Cancer, I feel right now what's happening is there is something you're trying to align with. Okay, something that you're exploring your options. You want to make sure you 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 get you make the right choice. And I feel this is your energy, King of Pentacles. You want to make sure that you make an infor informed choice. And uh, hmm, interesting, Cancer. I think that there is something going on in your energy where you don't know something. Something has. Why am I picking up M&M's? Picking up um, M&M colors, like all the colors. Weird. Okay. So here I feel that there is something that has been presented to you. I don't know why the cloud here and the seven of cups, the cloud around the cups, there's an illusion that um, I almost want to say it's on a spiritual level. Okay. Here with the star card, there's something you're aware of that is not in the material realm and you're, you're trying to figure out what it is or who it is. And this is representative of your external reality right now. This is you. Okay. You're, you're in a very earthy kind of place. You're feeling very, um, self sufficient. Okay. Uh, you're grounded, but you're having this juxtaposition with the spiritual aspect of yourself. There's something you don't know or something you're trying to figure out. It's either about a person or a situation and you're trying to really align it um here with a star card some of you I feel you're trying to access something via the heart center and you're not too sure what it is okay let's let's go ahead and start this is weird this is very interesting okay let's let's take a look tell me about the star card please for cancer tell me about the star card here for cancer Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there is some some kind of communication that you're not receiving that you're desiring to receive. And I feel it's not of the material plane. Four of Cups in reverse. And the Emperor in reverse. Fire sign Aries here. Um, oddly enough, this is your energy. This is your energy, the Emperor in reverse. This is what's causing the star in reverse energy, okay? Whatever you're trying to align with, okay, Cancer, internally, on the non-material plane, this could be any of the uh, planes. For some reason, I feel like this is in meditation, okay? Whatever it is you're trying to access is a piece of information that you are trying to control, okay? It's something that you want the answer, you want to know. And I feel it's driving some of you a little bit crazy. Here with the Four of Cups in reverse, I feel as though there was that you're trying to figure out. It's almost like he's trying to figure out. This is tied into the Seven of Cups card here. It's, it's almost similar in essence when I pick up on it with this Ace of Swords here. It's like you're trying to figure out exactly which is the right cup. Maybe you've had offers. 
something has something has been shown to you but you don't know what it is and you're trying to control it you're trying to figure out exactly how to get it and you may be going like i said a little bit overboard okay with trying to figure out what it is because you're not being some some kind of truth is not being revealed to you here okay something is not being shown uh tell me about the seven of cups here Okay, we've got Six of Wands, Knight of Cups in Reverse, Five of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so the Six of Wands here is really talking to me about this Emperor card here as well. Okay, there is something you really want success in, um, but you're not very emotionally stable or you're not feeling as though the emotional investment has happened. There's a lot of cups going on here. Okay, this is a very deep, this is a water energy. Um, hmm. Some of you feel like walking away or maybe somebody has walked away from you. I'm getting an amorphous kind of feeling here when I look at the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Something is eluding you. I swear if the High Priestess in Reverse comes out next, I'm going to scream. Um, something is eluding you here and you really want, you want to win. Okay, you want this. You want whatever this Knight of Cups is. Could be another water sign. Um... Feel like you're afraid too, Cancer, of exploring the emotional aspects right now of some of you. It's almost like this feeling of, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I want it now. Um, why is it not being shown to me? Why is it not being revealed? Should I just walk away from this? Okay, let's, let's take a look at the King of Pentacles. There's two aspects to you going on right now. One is a very grounded energy in reality, so to speak. Okay, in the 3D. That's how I'm going to just put it so everybody gets what I mean here. Um, and then there's one that's not. There's a split. Okay. Harmony in Reverse. Okay, some of you may, um, Six of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Cancer, be careful how much energy you put, okay? I feel some of you need to hear this. Be careful how much energy that you actually put into into this because I feel that on the surface, okay, on the surface, you are trying to deal with a situation where you're giving more than is being given back, okay? And I think that maybe it's related here to something that is not revealing itself to you this is all intertwined inter interconnected here um that's what i'm getting with this hermit in reverse here there is something that i think it could be a person it could be a situation something you know about in the ethers something that you know about that is not being shown to you and it this you're trying to it's almost like you're trying to force that will externally does that make any sense whatsoever to you, Cancer? I really hope it does. Um, you're trying to force something to happen. Some of you, this could be someone else trying to force something to happen. Let's take a look over here at the Emperor. I want to know about the Emperor, please. Devil in reverse. Wow. Wow. So there could have been something uh, really just hmm, 
needing to be let go of here or needs to be let go of with this Emperor card. Like I said, for some of you, you're really trying to get control of a situation. I just heard this. Some of you may actually be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, sorry, an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart that um, you need to release. Okay, or there's something that uh, about them that they are releasing right now. And what is this related to? Um, tell me about the Knight of Cups, please, in reverse, and the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords, please. Ten of Cups in reverse. <sighs> wow. Um, Cancer, I just want to say this, uh, for those of you that are really spiritual, okay, or really in tune with yourself in the ethers and, you know, out there, okay, <laughs> not in just 3D. Consider other options. Because I feel what something really has to be let go of here because it's starting to get kind of toxic. Okay, I'm getting a vibe that something is causing you more harm than good, okay? And I feel it has to do whatever this is that you don't understand yet or you're trying to get to reveal itself here with this. And, and it's, causing, it's, it, it's causing a disconnect, okay? It's, it's upsetting your, your balance. Okay, tell me more. I want to know about the Hermit in Reverse and the Six of Pentacles. You may be feeling right now that something you really crave or desire is not coming your way. Or it's not going your way and you really want success, but it's upsetting you instead. Okay? It's it's causing, you know, maybe you're, you're, some of you need to cut your losses, but, you know, that's not up to me. Queen of Swords in reverse. So you could be dealing with an air sign. If not, you're dealing with someone who is an ice queen mode. Okay, could be male, could be female. Um, and they are not uh, giving to the situation as much as you are. Okay. But whatever's going on over here, there's, like I said, there's two different things going on. That one is a, a spiritual, but so you got to get back in balance here, Cancer, because I think that whatever's going on here. Um, you've got a split in reality versus a spiritual. There's something spiritual going on that is not being revealed to you right now. Okay. And I think that whatever's going on in your 3D. Um, not good. Okay. It's something that has to be released. It has to be let go of, or at least it has to be handled in a specific way. So that you don't get caught up in nostalgia. So you don't get caught up in trying to force something here. Okay. So let's get you some advice with monology. This is a very weird reading. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea who I'm picking up on here. But whatever it is, this devil in reverse card, this ten of cups in reverse card, um, queen of swords in reverse card. Just There's, there's too much uh, toxicity going on here for my liking and the emperor in the reverse. Okay, there's too much uh, negative negativity. Okay, we have show the world the real you. More Aquarius energy here, matching with the star energy. So there may be something you need to heal, okay? There may be something that you're not revealing, okay? There could be a secret that you're keeping to yourself or you're just hiding yourself away here. Maybe with the hermit, you've isolated yourself a little bit. But, um, hmm. Show the world the real you. This again is also speaking to me about whatever it is that's going on in the non-corporeal. Uh, non, sorry, in non-3D. They're, they're really, I really feel there's something that you don't know yet. And hold your vision. Cancer, you're you're hyper focused. You're hyper focused on on two things. You're, you're this is such a weird reading. You're hyper focused on two things that don't align. The ah, oh my gosh. Okay, this is what's happening. 
You're focused on two things that are completely different from one another. And they have your focus. Your focus is split. And both things, okay, are causing some toxicity in your life. Okay? And they're, they are causing you to... The balance is being upset. Whatever's going on in your 3D is upsetting. And whatever's going on <laughs> in non 3D, okay, is, is also upsetting, but for very different reasons. So balancing both of these aspects is very important for you right now, right now, Cancer, because I think that something, you're hiding something, okay, or there's something hidden from you, and you're trying to get to the bottom of it, and it's causing some, uh, some toxicity, okay, it's causing some negative energy. I, I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like it, and it is, uh, you know, it's not up to me what you do, but I'm just here to give advice and read the cards, okay? But whatever it is that you're trying to control, okay, that you're really trying to get a hold of is causing too much unhappiness, okay? It's causing unhappiness. There needs to be some freedom to be allowed to let things unfold in a way that you're not trying to control it. Fiery climax approaches, Aries energy. So two things here. One, you're dealing with someone who is possibly a control freak. Okay. You're dealing with someone externally um, that is about to explode on you. So be careful. The other is this is your energy. Okay. And you are about to implode. Okay. You're about to literally implode if you don't figure this out. So... I don't say this often in my readings, but Cancer, consider this a warning for your current energy that the, the fact that you're trying to figure out a secret, trying to figure something out that you know is there, but you can't find it, you're not sure what it is, is causing you too much stress. You need to flow. This is not good for you, Cancer, okay? You need to let some healing in here and focus again on your reflection, your own reflection. Because I think what's happening here is <sighs> I feel a lot of anxiety in your in your energy cancer. And and I don't know why. It's it's almost to a point of paranoia. Okay. So please be careful, whatever it is you do. I'm actually gonna pull you um I wanna pull on the fiery climax. Tell me about the fiery climax here. Um, I feel your emotions are actually boiling over about a specific situation. Like you need to express yourself emotionally. Okay. We have Queen of Wands. Yowza. Okay. So there's another fire sign on the board here. Eight of Pentacles. And Page of Pentacles. So... <clears throat> So you remember earlier when I said, uh, Cancer, that there was something that is not being revealed to you, okay? I feel this has to do with another fire sign. Um, here, a possible Sagittarius, Leo, um, or Aries, doesn't matter. Um, that's embodying the feminine aspect of the Queen of Wands, a fiery, sort of creative, um, very passionate, driven individual here. Uh, I feel as though there's a bit of obsession with working with this person or they are you are hyper focused or they're hyper focused and hyper obsessed with making something work but with the page of pentacles in reverse here i feel that i have to say this cancer not here yet it's it's eluding you whatever this is for some reason or another okay so there could be someone coming your way here with this fiery climax. Someone that's going to offer you something, okay, a queen of wands. Or you're going to you're going to offer them something, or you're going to <laughs> dare I say emotionally invest or emotionally explode or do something towards this person and tell them you want to tell them you want to work with them or maybe you're you're sensing them in the ethers or something along those lines. What is this? What is this about? I think I need sleep. Okay, Cancer. That was your reading. Oh, you know what? Let's pull you one more Moonology card. One more card for Cancer, please. 
One more card for Cancer. What a weird reading. I have no idea what this, what is this all about? Um, take time to breathe out. You see what I'm saying? You, Cancer, I, like I said, there's some anxiety and a bit of paranoia in your energy. I'm feeling it. There's some thoughts that are cycling around that I'm picking up on, which are not healthy. Okay. Um, please, 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 please go on vacation. <laughs> Do something for yourself because whatever is happening right now, I can already feel that it's going to cause some problems for you if you keep it up. You know what I'm saying? So breathe, okay? Breathe, Cancer, and please just take it easy. All right. I hope you like this reading. Bye, Cancer.